The state of North Carolina is gorgeous. You have everything there, from the mountains on the western part of the state to the flat, low-lying lands and beach on the eastern part of the state. North Carolina has it all. History, great food, awesome attractions, easy go lucky way of living and even some really cool things to do with the kids. So let's check out North Carolina and see what's so special about this state and why so many people are moving to North Carolina. Let's start off with the Great Smoky Mountains. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Cherokee, North Carolina. This is in the western part of the state and the Smoky Mountains are gorgeous. In the fall, the foliage there is amazing. In the summer, there's lots to do for the kids, including whitewater rafting, hiking, or just camping out in general. The Great Smoky Mountains provides a clean, fun atmosphere away from a lot of the attractions. Sure, like everywhere else, they do have their tourist traps, but ultimately the Smoky Mountains is a must go to for any person that wants to experience the western part of North Carolina and just get away from the hustle and bustle of the city or the traffic or the things that drive you nuts. I spent a lot of time in the Smoky Mountains, especially when I was younger with my grandparents, and I'll tell you what, it's some of the best memories that I pretty much ever had in my life. On the opposite end of the state is the Outer Banks. Now this is along the coast and the Outer Banks is a really interesting place, especially over the past 15 or 20 years. It's become very, very popular. The Outer Banks is not so much like Florida where it's crystal clear water, but it's not like swimming off the coast of New Jersey. It's fun, it's relaxed. It has gotten a little bit more touristy over the past few years. And a lot of the homes there are starting to be kind of expensive, especially if you do things like Airbnb. But the Outer Banks does provide a really good, fun and safe, friendly, atmosphere for your family and yourself. Now let's talk about some of the cities that are in North Carolina. I've spent a lot of time in North Carolina, especially with traveling for work or on vacation. And one of my favorite cities is Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina has been growing by leaps and bounds. I started working there back in the late 1990s with some construction jobs that I was doing. And back then it was kind of more small town, but today it's exploded. There's a big tech hub there, but there's also a lot of culture and fun things to do music. There's lots of things to like spend with the family, flea markets, traveling around the town, looking at various sites and just getting out in an atmosphere. It's a very safe, fun, loving town. And if you get a chance to go to Charlotte, you will not be disappointed. Raleigh, North Carolina. Well, that's a different story. Raleigh has definitely come a long way. Back in the 90s and 80s, it was kind of a crime ridden town. But over the years, it's kind of grown, especially with a lot of transplants moving from the Northeast or out in the Midwest to try to bring it up to more of a modern type of look. The history there in Raleigh is amazing. They have a lot of Civil War history. They have a lot of great places to eat. And Raleigh does offer a unique twist in the fact that it's North Carolina is one of premier cities. So let's talk about food. North Carolina is a traditional Southern state. Let's face it, it's dead smack in the middle of the South. And the South is known for sweet tea. Don't go to North Carolina and expect not to get sweet tea. Now they have come a long way and said, do you want sweet or non-sweet? And do not get non-sweet tea and try to mix the sweetness in it with an artificial sweetener or even sugar. It's not the same. Sure, sweet tea will pack on the pounds, but North Carolina seems to be the home of sweet tea and it's everywhere. A matter of fact, I would probably wager to bet it's the drink of North Carolina. You cannot go wrong with some North Carolina sweet tea. It hits the spot, but remember it's full of sugar. So if you want something that's not so sugary, maybe the unsweet tea might be the way to go. But don't be disappointed if you get there and you don't like sweet tea because you can drink unsweet tea or pretty much anything else. Now piling on top of the sweet tea are hush puppies. Now if you're from any part of the country other than the South, you might not know what hush puppies are. But what they are is kind of like a breaded dough that's deep fried and it's almost like a cupcake, but deep fried on the outside. They offer hush puppies with everything. You order breakfast, they're gonna ask you if you want hush puppies. You order lunch, you're getting hush puppies. Hush puppies are everywhere. Now, again, you gotta kind of watch how much of those you eat because they are kind of fattening, but in the long run, they are so good, especially if you go to a traditional restaurant or a privately owned restaurant where the owners put a little more love and TLC into their food. Hush puppies are a staple of North Carolina and you can't go wrong. Now building on top of the hush puppies are cornbread. 
Now, everybody loves cornbread and there's all sorts of cornbread out there, but if you're from the South, you know cornbread. Now, some people put spicy stuff in their cornbread. That's really not me. I like to just put a big wob of butter on there and eat it. Cornbread is served with pretty much every meal down South. And if you go outside of the chain restaurants to more mom and pop places, cornbread is a staple. You can have it with breakfast, you can have it with dinner, you can have it with lunch. Some people just pick it up and eat it. Cornbread is amazing. And not the stuff from the box, but the stuff that people make homemade. Hush puppies, cornbread, sweet tea. These are staples of the South that people know and enjoy. And I hope don't go away anytime soon with all the transplants going there. But I just don't see that happening. Now, what are some really neat locations to visit in North Carolina? Well, if you're a history nut like I am, Fort Fisher Battlefield is really cool. Now, Fort Fisher was the last area in the South that was not captured during the Civil War that was a port city. It wasn't captured till the way end of the Civil War, and it was attacked by U.S. Marines and Naval forces at the Battle of Fort Fisher to kind of stop the supply of goods coming in from Europe or other parts of the world to aid the Confederacy. So Fort Fisher, North Carolina, kind of cool history site if you get a chance to go out and check it out and, you know, really enjoy history, you're really going to enjoy this part. Now, North Carolina is known for college sports. You might be a Tar Heel or some other college member out there that you really follow your team, but they also have the Charlotte Hornets, which is a professional basketball team that Michael Jordan owned up until recently, and the Carolina Panthers. The Carolina Panthers are one of the new expansion teams that came into the NFL in the 1990s. They're kind of in a slump right now, but the Carolina Panthers, when they first came out and over the few years that Cam Newton was there, really were an impressive team. And I don't see it really being that long before they rebound. They just need to get some new ownership and bring in some new skills but the carolina panthers charlotte hornets they are you know really worshipped in north carolina now speaking of sports north carolina is often referred to as the home of nascar i'm not really into nascar but i know a lot of people that are involved in it and nascar has come a long way from when it was just a bunch of guys riding around in souped up cars to today it's a multi-billion dollar industry there are tons of teams that are hosted out of north carolina and it is everywhere as a matter of fact nascar often draws more fans than even the professional sports teams like Carolina Panthers or the Hornets draw to their games or events. NASCAR has a really big following and if you're in North Carolina, you can't go a stone's throw away from some place that doesn't have some sort of a NASCAR flag or a Dale Earnhardt shirt or a Dick Trickle shirt. Yes, that's his name, Dick Trickle, or you know anybody else that's really known for fame from the NASCAR circuit. It's also home to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. So if you get a chance to go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame, and walk around, take a look at it. Sure, race cars might not be your thing, but taking a look at it, you're going to learn a lot about the history of NASCAR and just how far it come and has came since it was just rednecks with beer to today a multi-billion dollar sport that's watched around the world. So there are a few famous people from North Carolina, and one of the most notable is the actor Andy Griffith. God rest his soul, Andy Griffith was an amazing talent. He was not only an acting sensation, but he also had a phenomenal singing voice. Andy Griffith was in everything from Matlock to you name it, he was in it. Andy Griffith was the man. He had his own show, The Andy Griffith Show, starring a very young Ron Howard back in the day. And it's believed that the Andy Griffith show actually took place in Mayberry and Mayberry was supposed to be North Carolina, although they don't really say where Mayberry was, but it's believed to be in North Carolina. Andy Griffith is kind of a god or a godlike feature in North Carolina. He's probably the most famous resident of North Carolina outside of Michael Jordan. Speaking of Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan is probably considered the best basketball player in the history of the game. And he is from North Carolina. He played for the Tar Heels and then he went Went on to own the Charlotte Hornets. Now, Jordan has gone on from owning the Charlotte Hornets to actually buying in the NASCAR. That's right. An NBA basketball player bought into NASCAR, and today he owns one of the most successful teams in NASCAR. If you're planning a trip to North Carolina, you will not be disappointed. Just make sure you plan your itinerary. Whether it's great cuisine, hiking in the Smoky Mountains, going to the Outer Banks, going to the NASCAR Hall of Fame, any number of Civil War battlefields that are there, or Revolutionary War battlefields there, 
or you just want to go and relax and enjoy the fresh pine smell, North Carolina is an amazing place and make sure that you plan accordingly. It does have four seasons there, so it does snow there, but it does get really hot in the summertime. The fall is very nice, especially in the West as you're hiking through the Smoky Mountains. You will not be disappointed in that as well. Until next time, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and leave your comment below. If you ever been to North Carolina, we'd love to hear your feedback for future videos or anything that I might have missed. Until next time, we'll see you on the Clean Connection.